Yo, Dan Larson here for Rob Academy and in this video I would like to talk about another very cool Isotope plugin and it is called Stutter Reddit. Now you can use Stutter Reddit to add glitches and very interesting effect, stuttering effect to your song, especially if you are into bass heavy styles, for example mid-tempo, dubstep, drum and bass, this can be a very very handy tool. So this is why I used up this song I made for Let's Synthesize Academy. This is a mid-tempo, res and 1788L style mid-tempo song and edit start already to it and start playing with that. So this is what I did. So as you can see, Stutter Reddit is a very very nice and fun tool to play with. So let's jump into it, analyze it and let me show you how I made this stuff. Alright, so before we start analyzing Isotope Stutter Reddit, let me show you how it works, how you want to set it up in Ableton to make it work on an audio track. So first of all, go to your plugins and drop Stutter Reddit onto your audio channel that contains your track. Now because Stutter Reddit needs MIDI information, MIDI data, MIDI notes, you really want to make a new MIDI track and you want to send the MIDI information to the track that contains Stutter Reddit and as you can see here it automatically recognizes Stutter Reddit. So once you arm the MIDI track Stutter Reddit will automatically receive the information and you can make it work as you can see. Now you don't hear any effects now because I didn't start playing the track and if I do you can hear that it is working. Okay so the first thing you want to go to is the preset manager that is very very nice here because on the left side you can see the presets in folders and if you click on one preset for example, the first one from BT Signature Bank's Light Cycle preset. On the right, you can see the piano roll and on every note, you can see a gesture. Now, a gesture is not only one effect, but it can be several effects that you can put on one note. For example, in this here, you can see on C2, if you click on it, you can see the stutter, the quantize, the gate width, stereo delay, etc, etc is activated. And if you go forward, if you click on them, you can see what this preset contains on every MIDI note. This is very good because if you want to play with this, for example, in a live event, all you need to do is just using your MIDI keyboard and you know adding these crazy stutters, crazy effects, crazy glitches to your song. So this is the first step, but before we go forward, let me initialize our preset so we can start building up our own from scratch. Just before we get going, I would like to invite you to join the community by hitting subscribe and activating notifications. That way you won't miss a beat and you will get the heads up all the things as soon as I post them. So for example, let's start from C3. So as you can see, if you click on them, these are empty slots. This is where you can put in your effects. So if you want to add some effects, you need to first go to the mode tab and click on either stutter or generate. Now a generator is basically a very very simple synthesizer or a sample player that you can add some risers and effects that you can select from here like noises for example a compressed noise so as you can hear I just added a noise filter a noise sweep to it now if you want you can add the bandpass filter and the delay and this is a very nice thing to add some rise up a transition to your sound. But let's stick to the stutter because this is a lot more exciting. So right now I activated the gesture on C4. So if I play C4 on my keyboard while I'm playing my song. You can hear that it starts stuttering. Now this is very boring so what you want to do is play around with these sliders so you can set a range from 1 per 8 and 1 per 64 time signatures. Let me show it to you what it does now. So as you can see it basically moves from 1 per 8 to 1 per 64 creating this very nice stuttering effect. Of course if you don't want this effect just stick to one time signature. 
So this is it. It is very simple. But if you still want to use some movement between different tempos, different time signatures, with this slider, you can set the ease from progressive to exponential curve. But right now, let's just stick to the middle, which is a linear curve. Now, you must know that StatReady tries to quantize your MIDI informations, so you won't fall out of the grid. And if you want to fine-tune it, go to the grid and select the time signature that is closest to your needs. So in most of the cases, 1 per 8 or 1 per 16 must be enough. And also, the length of your gesture can be set here. Now it is set to 1 bar, which is, I think, a little too long. Let's just set it to 1 per 4. This will determine the length, basically, of your stuttering effect. The release mode tells you what stutter edit will do when you release the keyboard. So, for example, if I want a full gesture that I set to 1 per 4, it will mean that when I play my keyboard, it won't stop the gesture, it won't stop the stuttering effect whenever I release the key on my keyboard. You can hear it better if I set it to 1 bar. So now I'm just pushing the keyboard very, very shortly. So as you can hear, Stutter Reddit played this effect, this stuttering, in one bar length. Okay, and with this button, you can tell Stutter Reddit if you want to use a one-directional or a bi-directional looping on all of the effects. So as you can see, it is going back and forth, but if I de-click it, It is starting the loop again from the very first position. So by default I like to use it in bidirectional mode. Now you may be wondering why I can't set this slider to 1 per 2 or to 1 per 128 for example. And that is because I haven't selected these options here. So this is basically the range of the effect, of the loop of the effect that you can set here in every effect. Okay, so this is important if you want to reach basically these effects, these type signatures, you need to click on these. And because Stutter Edit can transpose your effect, you can check this here. So if you want, for example, transpose your effect by one octave, you need to select these. Okay, but I'm not going to use them. So by control clicking, I can deselect everything. But let's redo it here. And the coolest effect here is this knob, which is the global theater that you can access using the pitch wheel. This can be very, very handy during a live performance. It sounds very, very cool. Okay, I'm not going to cover every other effects here because you can check it in the manual and these are a lot of basically, but just in very short, you can quantize your effect, your stutter effect. You can add some trans gate, some kind of -pa 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 sort of effect to your stutters. You can use the panning on it. You can use a very nice, a very smart stereo delay effect where you can set the feedback to drive it and a delay on the right and the left channel. You can set a bent pass filtered delays. You can use the buffer position where you can play around with the position of your stuttering effect. So for example, you can go back and forth or playing your stutter effect reverse. This is a very, very nice tool, by the way. You can use low pass feeder, high pass feeder, a bit reduction, very nice crunchy effect, a lo-fi effect, a dry gain. That is very important if you don't want to kill the original sound, the original song that you are affecting and an effect gain. So basically you can add some volume to the effect, to the stutter effect if you want. Once you finish setting up your stuff, go again to the preset manager and you can select another key and you know start adding stuff here something like that and as you can see it automatically selected the stutter mode here. And then you can go and save because this is an empty preset and just typing here like Warp Academy. Okay, and now let me show you what I did in the example I showed you in the intro. So this is the coolest thing in Stutter Edit because what you really want to do is just open Stutter Edit and go to the preset manager. And for example, I use BT Signature Bank's Light Cycle preset. Just click on that. Take your MIDI keyboard and as you can see the MIDI channel is just receiving MIDI information and then you can just start playing any note basically on your keyboard. Easy. 
and this will create instant glitches that mid-tempo songs are very very famous about and they really need it so especially I love this section here because without that Ta -ta 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 so we can tweak this using start reddit so let's say you found the best tweaks and the best starters that you can come up with for example this one press ctrl j and then just go into the midi clip and fine tune the midi notes something like that How cool is this? I so love this feature and you know in a live performance this can be very very handy and very fun at the same time. Now the next thing that you want to do is click on this plus sign and this will overdub your already existing MIDI clips and you know you can start using your pitch band to add some filters with. Again how cool is this? So let's audition it again. Okay, now this is a little glitch in Ableton, so if you click on the pitch band, now you definitely want to reset this section to zero, because Ableton will not reset it for you, and this will result some weird stuff where your filter just stay at the last position that you used it, like this. Okay, that's it, very very cool. And another thing that I haven't told about is if you use your mod wheel, you can start playing between the ranges as you can see on every effect that I can manually tweak the position of the stutter, the stereo delay, the buffer position, etc. This can again be very handy. Maybe we can implement the modulation wheel movement to this glitch. Cool! Okay, so as you saw, Stutter Edit is a very fun tool to play with, especially if you are into bass heavy styles, for example, mid tempo, and it is very, very easy to set up everything, and these effects that Stutter Edit offers are very high quality. So if you are interested in putting this tool into your collection, check the descriptions, and keep inspired, I was Dan Larson for WAP Academy. Peace!